Well, hey folks, and welcome to Solar Cabin Channel. I got a really great email from a customer of mine, Benny Peavy, and he has built the Wombat Camper Plan, Camper, from my plans. And uh, this has been built by a lot of people, but he was kind enough to send me pictures of his build and give me a description of the build so that people can actually see how this can be done. And um, he, he tells me about his construction, and he has modified it for his needs, which all my plans are designed so they could be modified for your own needs. But it really helps because I can't build everything and afford to build everything that I design. So it's very nice when people send me these pictures so that I can share them with you so that you can see how these can be constructed. And uh, here's what he has to say about his build. Hello, I thought I would share these pictures of my Wombat built from your plans. Everything is solar powered except for the air conditioner, rarely used. I have 180 amp hours of battery power with a 100 watt fixed panel and another 100 watt panel. All lighting is LED and I use the two head fan you recommended. I also have a 12 volt 9 inch flat panel TV DVD combo. I found the windows in a mobile home supply warehouse and framed them in. Obviously, I didn't opt for the kitchenette. I wanted tools, stabilizer jack, wheel chocks, etc. storage instead. The portable 100-watt solar panel in the rear is in its stow position for a road trip. It can be plugged in to supplement the roof panel when on the road if needed or moved within 50 feet of the camper when on site. On the outside roof, side, front, and rear panel joint, instead of wood bondo, I used the heavy-duty wet-dry application liquid nails. I, it was easy to apply and none of the corner joints have ever cracked with 3,000 plus road miles. By the way, the only power tools I used was a handheld circular saw and jigsaw. The rest was just common woodworking hand tools. I found your plans easy to follow. And yes, I do get asked a lot of sh lot to show it off in campgrounds. Benny Peavy. I really appreciate this, Benny. And Benny sent me a whole bunch of other pictures which I'm going to show you here. Uh, this is uh, one of the, those pictures that shows it from the side here with the door. He's put a window in uh, that he purchased separately, uh, and this is designed. This is designed for solid use. It is designed so that it can be insulated and used year round. So now I'm going to show you the other pictures that he sent me, and then I will show you the plans that is or that he used, and many people have used to build this wombat camp trader. Okay, so these are the pictures that Benny sent me of his build of the Wombat Camper. And uh, this is uh, the passenger side. You can see it has a really nice door, large enough for you to get in there. And he's added his own window design in here that he says he purchased at a mobile home uh, supply store. Uh, or you could find these some, sometimes surplus. And, uh, a, you know, a nice good window uh, will give you a lot of light in a small place like this. And you can see the design here. This is on a 4x8 Harbor Freight or the 5x8 uh, Ironton Traders can also be used. He's added his own extra uh, rack on the back here. And this is designed so that you can also put a rack on the top. And he's used my design for the rack on the top, as you can see there. So you also have storage up on top. He's got a solar panel stored up there for now. But you can take the solar panel down put it inside and then you can store all the camping gear when you're on the road you can put a whole bunch of extra camping gear up on top to store and because this is really solidly made either using 2 by 4 or 2 by 3 construction you got the uh, strength to hold a lot of supplies up on top of this you can even throw extra uh, four by eight sheets of plywood up here if you need to use this for carrying supplies and stuff back home so let's look at the rest of these pictures here is the same picture from the front here. You can see he's got a nice box on the front of it. He's got his uh, spare tire stored up here on the uh, the front end of this. And this is designed so that it will reduce the wind friction as you're going down it. So there's another view of it there. Let's go on. Here's the opposite side. He's got an air conditioner that he can put in. I'm, I imagine that that can be removed when you're traveling, but maybe not. Uh, but, you know, and then he's got his electrical supply outlets, which he has some good pictures here because he has this design set up for 110 or solar panels. So whether he's off grid or parked in a RV camp, he, he'd still be able to use this. And uh, here, instead of opting for the kitchen, which I designed in the plans, he's used his for storage for tools, which is a really neat idea. And then you can see his power controller for his solar setup with a meter there. 
And here's the interior. You can see he's got a really nice bed set up, good light, good windows, and he's done paneling on the inside, which is what I show in the plans here. Another view of the inside with the air conditioner, nice TV up above it. He's got his uh, power controller and uh, switches and stuff like that for recharging stuff if he's using 110 or solar. And another view of the inside there, nice air conditioner, good room space there for your legs can really spread out. Now here he shows his electrical connections, and he's got it even marked, 12 volt DC solar panel only. So this is for his solar outlet. If he wants to run something outside that's 12 volt, he can do it from this panel here. Or he has, here is his 120 volt AC shore power. So he's got a couple of outlets there so he can run stuff on the outside. And also a fuse box, mini fuse box here, which I recommend, uh, so that you would have a fuse in, just in case something blows, the air conditioner or something blows inside. And he says the only thing that he has running off of 110 is the air conditioner. So everything else is running off of 12 volt. So he does he can run everything except the air conditioner off of 12 volt. And I include uh, the uh, two fan uh, that he talks about in there. That, so you really, unless you're parked in the desert, you probably don't need the air conditioner. You could use fans. And so he did a really nice job on this. I really appreciate him sending me these pictures. And uh, he, he, you know, this is designed for a guy who camps a lot. Okay, he's been, he's taken this on three thousand miles of trips. You can see he has it designed for his own needs. Uh, very comfortable. I like the way he's done the, his interior, and he modified it for his own needs. And and my designs are always designed so you can modify them for your own needs. A very solid, well built. Uh, a camper that you can take down the road and use a lot and that's what he's designed here and that's ex or what he's built here and what I designed and that's exactly the, the purpose that I hope that everybody gets for it. So now I'm going to show you the ebook uh, that the, is the plans that you can get and these plans are only five dollars people I don't charge a lot for plans I just want you to know that because I want people to be able to afford to build one of these uh, because so many of them out there, the commercial models are so expensive that I really think that people deserve to be able to build one of these that don't have a lot of money that can be built really well. So that's why I designed the ebook. So that's what I'm going to show you now is the ebook plans. And I'll give you a quick walkthrough of that. And then if you decide you want to build one of these, you can go get a set of plans for five dollars on my website, simplesolarhomesteading.com. So now I'll show you the ebook. Okay, folks. So this is the Wombat Micro Camper Plans. I uh, provide these in ebook form and they are full color in ebook. So you get a lot of good, really good pictures in this. And uh, this comes with, I give you lots of different design ideas, paint ideas, all kinds of things in here that you can do with this. So I show this as a, a design uh, that can be used if for many different functions. This is like a sporty version that has a kayak on top. Okay, or a, a wood sided version if you want something like that. Or I really like the military version, but you know, not everybody's into military things. But I designed this as a military version if you want the really uh, tough looking uh, wombat camper uh, that really stands out. I show, I give you the full plans and designs for a kitchen unit, or you could do like Benny did and you can convert this back area to tool storage or for however you want to use it. I even show it with a plank design if you like a plank design. I include the box design so that you can have a space for storing your propane tanks and your battery if you want. I show it with a solar panel on front up there. This uses the Harbor Freight Traders which right now you can get around for four hundred dollars and get one of these on Harbor Freight or you can modify it to the Ironton 5x8 trader or four, or any other 4x8 trader that you happen to come across. You could easily modify this for. And I even give you the links so you can go get the additional uh, extra spare tires and your jacks and get the, the trader if you want right from the ebook plans. You also have, I give you a, an example of how the trader is set up and then I show you how to build your frame. All the construction with all the dimensions of how to build the frame, how to insulate the floor, how to put your floor panel on, how to build the side panels with all the dimensions, showing everything as how it's cut out and attached to the floor. And I show you all of the framing, and I show this with 2x4 framing. However, if you want to use 2x3 and save yourself a little bit of money, 
and it reduces the weight. You could use 2x3s, but because 2x4s are more common, and most people can find those in this area, I show this with 2x4 framing, okay? And I show all the framing and everything that you would need, how it's constructed. Very simple, follow uh, the instructions, and anybody can put one of these together. Even if you've hardly ever built anything before, if you can saw a straight line, you can build this camper, okay? They're, I made the plans very easy to follow for anybody that has any basic building skills. So I show all the dimensions for the front lumber. This would need to be changed if you're modifying it to a 5x8, all right? And I show all the, the side framing, top framing, everything on here. So all the framing, uh, the dimensions are all in there, easy to follow along. Just read the instructions and follow what to do. Here it shows it without the front panel or back panel on, but shows the framing, okay, with all the dimensions. And then it shows you how to put your panels on, cut your panels so that they fit on there. And the top and the rear panels showing. Now you can modify this if you don't want these two doors on here. You don't have to, uh, but this gives you storage underneath for camping supplies shows you how to put the nose panel on all right all your dimensions are in there and here it is we're talking about how to do bondo he used liquid nails uh, and liquid nails may work better if you want to study which one would work better whether the bondo or liquid nails would work better he used liquid nails and says it hasn't broke down in 3,000 miles sounds good to me and it's probably cheaper than bondo so you bondo the edges or you use the liquid nail around the edges or you could do this in molding trim. If you don't want to do the uh, liquid nails or Bondo, you could do molding trim if you want to for a different look. It just gives it a nice smooth look, and then it can be painted. Now, in my plans, I also give you all the links to go and find this, okay? So anything like this, and it's all on Amazon, which most everybody has an Amazon account. So I give you all the, the if you don't have supplies to build it, you can click on these links and go get the supplies from Amazon. I show you how to insulate it if you want it insulated. Insulation is optional. If you're using this seasonal just in warm weather, you probably don't need to insulate it, and you can just do it with the outside panels. I recommend insulation if you're going to be using this all seasons or whether you, if you're going to be going any place where it's extremely hot or extremely cold. The air, the uh, You don't want to use air conditioning or a heater. Insulation really helps in a small space like this. So I show you how to insulate it. And then I show you how to panel it like he showed his paneling in there. I show you how to do your paneling on the inside. Okay. And I show you how to build your doors. If you can't find doors, doors for uh, micro campers are really hard to find and very expensive. So I show you how to build your own doors and insulate them. How to install your doors with your hinges. And I even show you where to get the uh, camper door latches and the, the camper door uh, cap, the drip cap. If you uh, can't make your own, you can buy these. Uh, I show you what the exterior or the interior of the uh, kitchen unit looks like and I show you how to build this kitchen unit again this is optional you can you see that you got a nice room for a sink a uh, three burner stove shelves up above it place for a water storage and other camping supplies place for your cooler storage down there pictures of the interior as how, how I would do it and he did he modified his differently he didn't put his in exactly like this but that's just fine you can modify it too I even show you where you can get your sinks and your coolers if you want and I give you a, a lot of detail work here showing you how things are set up and what how this all fits together because it's kind of a bit of a puzzle to, to fit this kitchen unit together so if you follow all of the 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 uh, arrows you can figure out how this goes together I show you how to cut out the, the kitchen panel uh, how to, to do the framing for the kitchen all of that's included all the dimensions all the panels that you need to cut are all included in the the plans uh, back doors kick panel all of that's included in there how to set up the uh, rear hood and the doors and I show here's your rear hood here's your kitchen area uh, all the dimensions and everything that you need how to cut out your panel for your doors for the back end and here's your piano hinge showing for the back with a lock on the front on on it and then just lots of lots and lots of details here for how you can construct these boxes and everything like that. And again, with all the links, here's your roof vent, here's your lights, side markers, 12-inch port porthole window, all of this stuff I give you links for so you don't have to go look online for it. If you want, you can find it. I probably found the cheapest price is what I would usually look for. I even show you how to make your roof mounts with all the, the dimensions on here. So you can make a nice roof mount on top of this so you have lots of room up on top of this for storing extra supplies. 
And I even show you, give you a link for if you want to find you a nice fancy box to go on the front. If you don't, you can build your own. And I show you here how to build your own box for storing your own propane tanks and battery. And I talk about solar panels and uh, recommend either a 100 watt solar panel will usually provide all the power that you need with about 130 amp or 180 amp hour battery and I even tell you where you can get your solar panels the flexible solar panels don't weigh as much so you may want to consider getting one of those this is one of the tw two fan uh, 12 volt fan I talked about that Benny uses and these this would provide probably enough uh, cooling air circulation without an air conditioner but if you want an air conditioner of course you can install one also 12 volt uh, TV and DVD player 12 volt hot water pot uh, 12 volt stoves here's links for all the equipment like that you might get then I uh, discuss painting your camper and how it can be done in different ways just to make it look nice and be uh, custom designed for however you want to do it even wood planking if you want to do wood planking and uh, that's the plans, and this is about 32 pages ebook. You can get it for five dollars on my website, simplesolarhomesteading.com. Go look at the pictures. Go look at my other designs on there. Uh, if you like this design, I think you will uh, uh, enjoy it. It's well well made and well constructed. All right, folks, have a great day.